Hey everyone, in this video we will be looking at square roots and some of their properties. A square root is denoted by this symbol right there. Let's say we want to calculate the square root of a number denoted by x. And the square root of this number x yields us another number y. So by definition, a square root of a number, in this case y, is a number when multiplied by itself gives us the original number of which you calculated the square root of. So square root of x is y. Let's say we have to calculate the square root of 4. Now by definition square root of 4 is a number which when multiplied by itself gives us 4. So the only number that when multiplied by itself gives us 4 is 2. So 2 times 2 gives us 4. Therefore 4 is known as the square of 2 and 2 is known as the square root of 4. Therefore the square root of 4 is equal to 2. But this doesn't end here. We also know that minus 2 times minus 2 also gives us 4. Hence minus 2 is also the square root of 4. So we can write here 2 comma minus 2. Therefore the square roots of 4 are 2 and minus 2. With this let us look at the various properties of square roots. So the first property is if you have a number x you square it and take the square root of the square of x you get the mod of x which means that if you take any number you square it and take the under root of it you will get the positive value of that number. Let us for example take the under root of minus 2's square. So we have minus 2, we have squared it and took the under root of it. Then we will get if we take the square of minus 2 we get 4 under root 4 which is equal to 2. Square root of 4 is 2. In this case is called the principal square root of 4. The principal square root of any number is the positive square root of that number, not the negative one. And we usually take the principal square root in all cases. Let us look at the second property of square roots, rather a property of squares. It says that the square of a number can never be negative. To prove this, let us multiply two negative numbers. So minus 3 times minus 3, if we multiply it, we get 9. Minus times minus is plus. And 3 times 3 is 9. So the square of any number can never be negative. Let us look at the third property. The square root of a negative number is imaginary. That means if you take the square root of a negative number, for example, negative 4, the answer is imaginary. That is, it is not a real number. So if you try to solve this, you, you get under root of minus 4 can be written as minus 1 times 4 and this can be written as under root 4 times under root of minus 1 and that is 2 root minus 1 so the root of minus 4 is 2 root minus 1 and this minus 1 is an imaginary number so you cannot calculate the exact square root of a negative number and lastly if you have a is equal to root of x, then you can always write a square is equal to x. You can either take the square of both the sides of the equals to, or you can take the under root of both sides of the equal to. So in this case, if I have 5 equals to root 25, I can write 5 square is equal to 25. Then of course 25 is equal to 25. So this is how you do square roots.